In this video, we'll convert grams of nickel to moles. Then we'll take those moles of nickel and convert them to atoms of nickel. So let's start out with grams. We're given 12.83 grams of nickel. This is just a number I made up for the problem. We want to get to moles. So when we're going from grams to moles, we're going to divide by the molar mass. The molar mass, in this case, is the atomic mass because it's just nickel by itself. Nickel on the periodic table is 58.63 grams per mole. So when we set it up, we divide what we're given by the atomic mass here, and that looks like this. So we divide the given by the atomic mass of nickel, grams on the top and bottom, that cancels out. We're left with 0.22 moles of nickel. Let's convert the moles of nickel now to atoms. So we have 0.22 moles of nickel. That's what we found out when we went from grams to moles. So when we're going from moles to particles, particles are things like atoms, molecules, or ions. So we're going from moles to atoms here. We're going to multiply by Avogadro's number. That'll look like this. And remember, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that's atoms per mole. When we multiply the top and then divide by the bottom, moles cancels out. We're left with 1.32 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of nickel. So to recap, we took our grams to moles of nickel. Then we have our moles. We could multiply that by Avogadro's number to get atoms of nickel. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.